It's 33 degrees outside. A couple days ago, I put this video up. Grass. Raking. Mowing the grass. That was just a couple days ago. Fast forward to today. First to snow mow a yard, snow mow a yard on YouTube. That was pretty freaking cool. Uh, so this happened yesterday. Uh, we got like three or four inches of snow, like that. Crazy. It is so gorgeous. It's warm now. Temperatures are warm. We're like I don't know. We're gonna hit like 40 today. So we got a good powder here. For a snowball fight. Rocky, a snowball fight? You want a snowball? You yeah. ready? You want a snowball fight? Mm. Well, I need to explain something to you guys. I had a question about um, all my barbecue grills. Why do I have so many barbecue grills from that last video I did? Uh, I'll link to that right here. Um, okay, that one right there is not a barbecue grill. It was. It's repurposed. This was one of them smokers like you buy at Walmart. It's actually a, a pretty, this is, actually this is the one you get at like Home Depot. It's a little bit heavier. And a customer was throwing it out and asked me if I would take it away for them. And I was like, yeah, sure. So what I did is I came home and I cut the legs off with my son and we put it in the ground and we made it our fire pit. So this is our fire pit. So instead of having one of them fancy fire pits or whatever, we just have this, and at the end of the day, we just cover it. This is for doing long, long racks of ribs, a lot of food, stuff like that for barbecues for the weekends and stuff like that. That's what this one's for. Okay, this one's my Weber for when I'm doing smaller. You know, you put the charcoal on one side, the vent on the other side. I'll do my pork loins and stuff like that over here, wrapped in bacon, you know, maybe a couple small things on this all right so I don't have to fire up the big one and then this is my gas grill this one is uh, propane uh, for obvious reasons sometimes you just you know you want to cook up a steak real fast or or throw some hot dogs or hamburgers on the grill um, also good to have for 
emergencies. It's good to have a gas grill for emergencies for boiling water and stuff like that. That's why I have all these grills. So fire pit, long smoker, small smoker, gas grill for obvious reasons. They uh, have us out of work today. So that was another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, yesterday they sent us home a bit early for for um, oh and, and another thing too because of the snow and the ice and everything that was coming down the landfills wanted to get their employees home safe uh, stuff like that so you know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh it's a big deal three inches of snow we get that in June well, we're not prepared for that. You know, you guys are prepared for that. You have your city and county workers and you have your contracts and you yourself might have snow plows and ATVs and stuff like that to get you out of your homes and to clear the streets and to make things a little bit safer. You got all terrain tires, you know, all season tires. You know, you got stuff like that on the regular, your county and your city and your emergency management crews are putting down brine and stuff like that and sand and all that in, you know, lot in a lot of, um, large quantities this doesn't happen so we are not at all prepared for anything like this uh, the last time we got something like this I think was 1983 but I could be wrong so we're just not ready for this sort of stuff and when it happens it's a big deal and people lose their lives and um, emergency rooms fill up fast so my glasses I don't think I'm Joe cool these are very expensive these are $1,300 progressives and transition lenses so they they progress down to bifocal with no line and they transition from from clear to dark and they're called active transition so they actually work in a vehicle they work in your home they work under fluorescent light so I always wear these so I can see and they're like always on a certain shade of dark next week is a big reveal at work and it's a really big thing uh, we got a brand new truck uh, the last brand new truck we got was back in May, I think, May or June, they put it in service. And the guy who got it, his name was Curtis. Uh, that was truck 116. And he, um, he's been with the company 10 years, doesn't complain, does his job, one of the top producers. Um, and he was rewarded with the brand new truck. So next week, uh, somebody's getting rewarded with another brand new truck. And when that happens, they'll take somebody from say like I'm in 105 that truck has 600,000 miles in it and it's a 2005 or 2006 so that's an old truck um, so what they'll do is they'll take somebody who's been in the company for a really long time and is a really good producer all right production first so they make their money back on the truck and been with the company with some longevity and you know has good work ethic and you know the, the truck will be in good hands they'll give that truck to somebody and that could be somebody who's in a truck like like 110 J and 110 or it could be uh, somebody that's in 109 or 108 you know one of those guys that have a truck that's a few years old that has earned their way might get the new truck and then what that does is that opens everybody to move up a truck so from 105 I might move to 106 or I might move to 107 um, which would be a newer truck and you know that's that's good that, that's good for everybody um, so I look forward to that I look forward to see what happens next week um, I've only been with the company 11 months right now so I don't suspect that I would get the new truck of course um, but you never know I, I am one of the top producers there day in and day out week in and week out and I never call in sick to work you know I mean I have awesome work ethics and I get the job done and I get a lot of the jobs done so I mean, there is a chance, uh, but, you know, we just keep our fingers crossed that I move up into a better truck than what I'm in right now because my truck's tired. I want to challenge Alan down there in Florida from the Lawn Care Nut. If you guys are subscribed to me and you're not subscribed to the Lawn Care Nut, what are you thinking? You need to go find the Lawn Care Nut and you need to subscribe to Alan. The guy's amazing. He's an awesome entertainer and informer, all right? He knows his stick he knows his stuff uh, so check Alan out but Alan dominate that Alan I mowed snow what you got anyways check out Alan check out his striping and stuff like that and Alan love what you do man and I appreciate you uh, commenting every once in a while on my channel too man that means a lot to me 
And um, I actually was thinking about you when I was doing this. I was like, I'm gonna show up Alan. Uh, so there you go. So that's it. The rest of the day I'm gonna go ahead and put a video together that I filmed in fall. Uh, it's uh, just cutting, so I'll do a real-time video. That'll go up. Uh, I'll start the edits on that probably later on this afternoon and uh, put that up probably the end of the weekend. Give you guys something to chew on for a little while. And this weekend I'm doing um, Single Mom Rescue. So uh, I was asked by a single mom if I can help her out. She doesn't have a lot of cash, but she can make dinner. Uh, so we're going to work out a little deal and uh, we're going to help get her jungle tamed at her place. And we're going to start working on that this weekend with some chainsaw and uh, big removal and stuff like that and start getting her place uh, into shape. So that's going to be filmed this weekend and we'll probably get that out next weekend. So stick around. If you haven't subscribed, you really need to. I'm going to be doing some really cool stuff this year with charities, with uh, helping people, with helping vets, with helping seniors. I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to get names of people that need help and uh, we're just going to go ahead and clean up their place. No charge. Um, you know, and we'll put it on film and you know, just try to make a difference in the area with what I can do. And I'm going to ask you guys to support that with your views and with your comments, your positive comments. And uh, we'll help, you know, spread the love a little bit, kind of pay it forward a little bit, all right? So that's it. It's Dan. I will see you guys later.